Good evening everybody, this is AJ, the Movie Owl, um, back for a review, a 4K review of the Kevin Costner classic film, Field of Dreams. Um, before I start, please consider subscribing, um, hit the like button, notification bell, um, any comments I will get back to. The channel's young, I'm trying to grow it, so any support would be much appreciated. Um, so yeah, so... Um, yesterday I received the 4K Steelbook version of Field of Dreams. Um, I have done an unboxing for this um, with a closer look at the Steelbook. It's in one of my other videos um, prior to this one. So, yeah, Field of Dreams. Um, this is a film from the late 80s, around about 1988, I believe. Um, I haven't seen the film since around that sort of time, about 30 years. Um, I did enjoy the film back then. I've got fond memories of it, but I couldn't remember the film. Uh, so pretty much watching it again, I was going into fresh. I've never had it on Blu-ray. Um, I can't recall even having it on DVD, but recall liking it. And so as soon as I announced the 4K and released the Steelbook, um, I put in a pre-order. Yeah, great. So anyway, so the film stars Kevin Costner, um, James Earl Jones, Ray Liotta plays a part, um, Burt Lancaster, Frank Whaley, who I have reviewed another film of his um, about a week ago, Career Opportunities, um, which is a John Hughes written film. Anyway, um, go check that out if you're interested. So yes, yeah, so a field of dreams. Um, basically, the, the, the premise of the story is, is is Kevin Costner has grown up. He's grown up throughout the 60s. Um, he lost his mum at a very, very young age. Um, he kind of got estranged from his father um, as he became a teen. Um, his father always seemed old to him and, and like, you know, sort of worn down. He, he remembers him as that sort, never saw him in his younger days. His father did play baseball, but um, while raising Kevin Costner, um, as a young child, he would put him to bed with stories of the baseball greats and all this sort of stuff. Um, now, I will say, I'm not a sports fan, a huge sports fan. I don't really like sport movies. This isn't really a sporting movie, even though there is baseball as part of the premise of it. But there you go. So, later on in life, Kevin Costner, he's got his own family. Um, his dad has passed away. He's in his 30s. He, he buys a farm in Iowa. Um and becomes like a, a, a corn corn farmer. Um, whilst out in the fields working one day, he hears a voice that um, basically says to him, if you build it, he will come. Um, and he keeps hearing this voice over and over and, and he just gets this inkling to clear a patch of land and build a baseball field on it, fully illuminated, blah, blah, blah. Seasons pass, um, eventually, um, Ray Liotta, um, who plays Shoeless Joe Jackson, is out on the field. Um, he goes out, sees him. Um, it's basically a ghost of, of, obviously, a classic baseball player for, um, from ages back, who I am aware of. Um, as the film progresses, um, other baseball players come out, spirits of, come out of the corn to play. Um, it sends um, Kevin Costner's character on journey. Um, a journey of growth, enlightenment and all this. Um, I don't really want to spoil the story if you haven't seen the film. It is well worth watching. Um, it's quite an emotional film. It's a, a very well directed film. It was big in its in the day back then. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a very good film. I don't want to go into the story any more than that because I don't want to spoil stuff. So go ahead, watch it. It's a good film. Um, as for the, the 4K transfer, um, I've, obviously I've got nothing to compare it to, but it felt vibrant, it felt bright, um, the colours were sharp, the blacks were dark, there was a little bit of grain in some scenes, um, obviously that's meant to be there, um, but the, the transfer is great, yeah, so it, you know, the, the blacks, the nighttime blacks definitely stood out, um, the colours, like I said, they're very sharp, in your face at times a lot of greens and then you know you got sky and all this sort of stuff um it's, it's a fantastic film fantastic film um well worth giving it a watch i'd highly recommend it um that's the back of the box 
We can probably pause that and read the load down on it. Um, unfortunately, like I said in the unboxing, there are no special features listed on the back. Um, but yeah, so, um, Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner. Um, it's worth giving your time to, definitely. Even if you're not a sports fan, it's not a sports film. It may seem that way, but I guarantee you there's a lot more depth to it than baseball. Um, so anyway, that was just a quick review of what I thought of the transfer. Um, yeah, so this is out tomorrow, I believe. Um, like I said, I got it early. So tell me, are you going to be getting this? Have you seen it? Did you enjoy it back in the day when Kevin Costner was relevant? Um, yeah, leave me a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you for watching. This is AJ and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.